All right, this thing doesn't sound too good. I don't know what's in here, but you guys hear that? Guy sounds like like metal. Not that something's broken, but I don't know. Uh, this was shipped on December 31st. I don't know about that package. It's sealed very, very well, so I feel like it's probably not broken, whatever's in there. Uh, and then I have some letters here as well. Uh, the letters are from December 22nd and December 19th. So... They are finally showing up here January 6th, January 7th. I don't know what today's day is. Somewhere around there. So yeah, if you sent the letter, usually it arrives in like two days or three days. Not the case right now. It is thrift store day, however, and we are going thrifting up to Whitehall. I do have a package here for Jay if he shows up. Uh, but it's thrifting day. Let's make it our fun one. I had a bunch of things planned in Allentown today. And they all fell through again, so maybe another week. Uh, but we are heading out to the thrift store and hopefully going to find some treasure. Let's do it. Looking a little deserted. I want to talk about an interesting lamp. What is this whole contraption? Somebody must be in the candles. Alright, early on they've blessed us with three racks. It's kind of cool Red Sox jersey, but very, very pilled. It's been snagged more times than the fish in the ocean. I don't even think that's an expression, but we just made an expression. This thing is real. Oh, it's a, it's a spring training jersey. It's been a while since I've seen one of those. I thought those were so cool, that design, that I ended up designing my high school baseball jerseys for my junior and senior year. And we had that design with this. I think it's called a gusset. I thought I was the man. So I'm just looking for like commonly known patterns for quilts. I don't know if it's called patchwork. Then we'll follow the little squares. Then the other one that's pretty decent is the wedding band one. This one doesn't have any one. This this store really doesn't find too many quilts. I was really shocked that other time that I found them at the thrift store when they, they both came out on the rack. Two of them, very, very nice ones. But nothing here so far. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Good actually. <laughs> Party to home. Yeah. Yeah. This guy has a rifle. Yeah. Yo, look, he has a bottle of uh, uh, whiskey. Yeah, Jack. Uh, Jack. That's yeah. supposed to be like Jack, yeah. Yeah. It's actually yeah. pretty funny. Like yeah, grab it. I look good on you. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm not good. <laughs> no? Nah. 
All right, on the board here. On the board. Don't know if it'll fit me. I don't think it will. It'll probably have to be sold. Giants. What? Vineyard vines. All right. That's kind of funny. That's a, I like that van. Aren't the uh, the vans that they use for uh, is that trans? That says transit, transit connect. Aren't the vans they use for UK Mail, Royal Mail, very similar to that? Wrong button. All right, finish this first thrift store. Only grabbed like two shirts and a sweater. Uh, we are at Goodwill. We're running here quickly. See if this is anything special today. Gotta love it. A box of used golf balls. Two dollars. It's missing one also. It's the middle one's all like uh, you can call it missing. It's not even the right one. Goodwill always throws me for a loop. It really does. Alright, and just like that we are out of there. That is I get suckered into going to Goodwill every time I come up here. So I made it to the other thrift store over here, Whitehall. Wow, it's windy out here. They also did a sale last uh, New Year's, so I don't know if they have new inventory or if it's gonna be empty, but we will see. A lot of pretty nice eagle stuff here. But eagles right now are making me a little salty, so I don't want... What the... It's a great shirt. I'm retired. This is as dressed up as I get. It's an older sweatshirt, too. <laughs> I remember when these sayings were so common. Like, everyone got this for your grandma and your grandfather. Christmas gift. I like that logo. It reminds me of a Taco Stacks logo. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Too bad it's like an extra small. It's tiny. Does it have? It's got some holes and stuff. Is that a stain? It sure looks like that. Medium. This is probably my favorite champion tag aside from the reverse weave tags then when i grab it, it's five dollars but early 90s awesome all right got myself a nice basketball for the basketball guy i hope the guy's still collecting basketballs because i got probably five or six right now i think he is his parents still watch the channel uh, he watches the channel once in a while, so if he's watching, he'll let me know if he isn't. It's kind of... <laughs> I was checking out the person in front of me. I don't know where they went. Had a gorgeous quilt. Old, older one, too. Um, usually with the older ones, they generally... Uh, I don't know if you really call it, like, dry rot, but they do kind of dry rot, and they get very, very brittle. But that one looked like it was still in good shape, so uh, I guess by going to Goodwill... I missed out on that one, but you can't win them all. That's one thing. Alrighty, so I think we're onward. Grab these packages. Uh, is that salsa? Looks like salsa's over there. Don't worry, salsa, you can sniff some clothes shortly. Who knows? Get ready for salsa dog to be fired up here in a matter of, well, she's probably gonna stare at me and then she's gonna give me that look. And she's gonna just start shaking her tail. Put the box down. Dog is interesting. Does she even know who I am? Oh, there you go.
Everyone likes to see salsa so get all fired up. I was thinking about getting some t-shirts or merch design. Very limited run. Salsa approved merch. But I have to wait until... Uh, have to wait until the post office clears up their uh, their backlog because there are a lot of packages out there which are just in transit as they say so sitting down about to do some editing over here um, just kind of reading over comments uh, generally speaking so right now it's like about 12 15 uh, generally speaking I don't get a lot of comments in the morning but in case you guys were wondering like you know, you didn't respond to my comment. I left you a comment. You don't read comments. This is my comment section of YouTube, and it's in chronological order in terms of the time that you guys left the comment. So something like this, someone left a message or a comment on uh, this video or this. Uh, this is in my community tab, which is weird. They're talking about buying vintage hats. So they just saw that one video where I bought all the hats, which I'm pretty sure I have a comment down here somewhere 11 hours ago on this video. Uh, this video is still doing very, very well, but when I read these comments or messages, they're in chronological order. So uh, there are times of the day, as you can see, I mean, I'm just scrolling like all these. There are times of the day where I get a bunch of them and I just can't keep up, but you'll see all these different videos. And those videos are in correlation to whenever those comment was uh, left. So if you left a video or like pretty sure at NASCAR had had autograph on it, it did. I will hit that favorite button. Um, but that video was from, I think, a week ago, two weeks ago. So... Although that video might be a little bit old, and these are kind of my more recent videos, those comments still get thrown in there. All right? So whenever I go to my comment section and start reading comments, you guys might leave me 50 comments on a video I just posted, but I'm responding to comments that I posted a video two years ago. So that's why it kind of gets all mixed up, and it just becomes like a full-on job just reading comments. I try to get as many as I can, but... You know, there's only so many hours of the day, um, but I do try to read comments, just kind of a little bit of a refreshment because I know we do end up with a lot more subscribers and new subscribers throughout the time, and people do wonder why, you know, some YouTubers might not respond to your comment. Generally speaking, when you start adding up the amount of videos you have, you end up getting a lot more uh, messages and responses to all your videos, and it just becomes very, very difficult to kind of keep up. Um, I wish there was kind of a way to kind of sort it out. But then again, I mean, if you're watching an older video and you leave a comment today and I can respond to it, I shouldn't just like ignore those comments and prioritize if that kind of makes sense. Uh, but I do try to read as many as I can. Obviously, you know, I, I try to get to what I can do. Like right now, I'm going to do some editing. Uh, speaking of editing, I'm getting a new monitor. Speaking of editing, I'm getting a new monitor. Uh, not a new monitor. I'm getting a new desk so I can finally do some organization over here. These older style antique desks, they're not very practical for what I can use. Like I need shelves here, but nothing, with, you know, I have to reach around, take this bin out, pull it over there, you know, they're not as practical as something new. Plus this, I can't even get to anything over there. I kind of have to like get down on my knees and put my arm out and reach for it. So hopefully a new desk will definitely be helpful in the future. Salsa is going to sit down and do some sleeping, and I'm going to sit down and do some editing. So thanks for coming along for another adventure. Always fun and a blast to do thrifting. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you guys enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. Catch you guys next time for next adventure. Till next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.